IPM is really about the optimal use of pest control techniques and tools, taking into account factors such as uh, profitability, risk, uh, environmental and human safety and sustainability. What we're looking at here is a whole host of uh, techniques that could be used to control uh, pests and diseases and also weeds. Talking about varietal resistance, we'll be talking about fungicides, we'll be talking about cultural techniques, altering of sowing dates, seeding rates, uh, inputs in terms of fertilisers, rota rotation, crop sequence, all available IPM tools suited to different crops, different fields and uh, different pest weed disease problems. And today we're out in the spring barley crop and winter wheat. The farmer's been very good about protecting the crop and uh, getting on at the appropriate timings with good chemistry, um, coupled with a good rotation. I mean, we've got a lot of crops on the farm here. We've got Brussels sprouts, and we've got phacelia, clover mixtures. We've got seed potatoes. I mean, the rotation's fairly diverse, so it's gonna be controlling a lot of soil-borne and trash-borne diseases uh, through rotation. Being up here, we haven't really got so much control over sowing window. Um, you're going to be quite tight in terms of harvesting an autumn crop and getting in with another autumn crop. And you won't, don't want to be going too late up here because you're going to be running the risk of poor establishment and yield loss associated with that. With regards to diseases such as septoria, rhynchosporium, which potentially could be reduced through delayed sowing, and also uh, pests such as aphids, and wheat bowl fly, um, he's probably not really going to be considering that as a major option. But uh, certainly as you move further south and towards the borders, uh, that option becomes more available. So really IPM is about not necessarily growing organically, but make, taking advantage of natural processes that can control pest weeds and diseases. Um, fungicides and pesticides in general can be used, of course, um, but it's about using them in an, an optimal way. Um, the adage is as much as necessary, but as little as possible. So it might not be that your pesticide spend actually reduces, but you'll perhaps be targeting them better. Um, and by targeting them better, you're going to get more bang for your buck.